All right, everyone, so welcome back. Today we're gonna learn about area of trapezoids. This one is a little bit different than area of triangles, but it's quite easy overall if you just follow the steps. The steps are quite straightforward, nothing to worry about. Let's work with this example here. So if you have a trapezoid that you're working on for homework, or you have been working on a trapezoid on a website, for example, trying to solve it, you can follow these steps. I recommend that you do this one with me so you understand it. So here we go. The first thing we do is we have two bases, right? We have the bottom, which is base one, and the top, which is base two. We're going to add those two bases together. So that is the first thing you do. You do base one, base one, plus base two. In this case, that's going to be, well, 20 plus 10. And that would give us 30. So first step is done. You added base one plus base two, and you got 30. Okay, there's two more steps to go. This is very good, we're progressing great. Two more steps to go. So the next step is going to be, you're going to divide the height by two. So what is the height here? What is the height? Well, the height here is labeled 10, right? The line going up, it's gonna be labeled on your trapezoid as going up and it's gonna be 10, okay? So you're gonna divide that by two. So we're gonna do height divided by two. That is the next step, height uh, divided by, we're gonna write this as divided by two. And that's gonna give us five, right? That's gonna give us five. So now we have our bases added up and the heights added up, all right? And now we're on the last step, just like that. The last step we have to do is we're going to do the sum of the bases multiplied by half of the height. All right. And what would that be in this case? Well, we have the numbers, right? 30, right? 30 and multiplied by 5. And what is that going to give us? What is that gonna give us? 30 times five, pause the video, think about it, and come back and tell me. The answer would be 150 centimeters. And we have to write squared, of course. You just press it like this. 150 centimeters squared. And that would be the answer for our first example right here. So again, to review, you add the bases up, 20 plus 10, you add them up. You write that number down, here's 30. Your next step, divide the height by two, write that number down. And both of those numbers that you just wrote down, you're gonna multiply them together and that would give you your answer, all right? All right, here's another example. So again, we have base one and base two. We're not gonna have any labels this time. What I recommend that you do is pause the video and try this yourself. First, you're gonna do, what are we gonna do first? Well, you can think about it and then come back to the video. But what we do first is we're gonna add up the bases, okay? So we're gonna add up the bases that we have. And those bases are going to be base one, which is 23. So we're gonna write 23, and we're gonna add six, okay? And that gives us 29. So we have 29 as our number for adding the bases. Now what's the next step? Try to remember what the next step is. If you said you're gonna divide the height by two, that is correct. You're going to do 14 divided by two. And what is that going to give you? That's gonna give you seven. Okay, we're on the last step. What do we do next? It's kind of a difficult one because we do need to multiply. So let us multiply. So we're gonna do 29, 29 times seven. We got our two numbers, right? We got our two numbers from adding the bases, then we got our number from dividing the height by two. So we can just multiply those two numbers. This is the last step that you do, you've arrived at it. So seven times nine would give us 63. So let's write the three down here and we're gonna carry over the six. And then six times, I mean, sorry, seven times two is 14 plus the six that gives us 20. All right, so that's gonna give us an answer of 203 meters squared all right and that is the final answer all right well i hope this video helped you 
Uh, if you want to rewatch it just to review the concepts, I recommend doing that to make sure you understand them. Thank you for watching. Keep studying. If you feel like the video helped you and want more guidance with your education, feel free to subscribe and leave a like on the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.